Hi everyone. In this video, we will create a paint brush animation. We will combine shape training and motion training in one project. So let's start. Choose the default options and click on create. Now on layer one, we will draw a line. Take the brush tool. You can choose any color. Just draw a small line. Rename this as line layer. Now insert a keyframe on any frame. Now on this keyframe, we will increase the width of the line. Click on window, info. So we have two lines on line there. First frame we have a small line and on the last frame we have a big line. We will create a shape tween between these two lines. The small line will change into the bigger line. Now add a new layer. Rename this to brush. Now click on the first frame of brush layer. It is very important when you are drawing where the play head is because where the play, play head is that frame is the current frame on whatever you are drawing on the stage it will be drawn on that current frame. So on the brush layer frame 1 we will draw a brush. Take the rectangle tool. Draw a small rectangle first. Then just change color. And draw another rectangle. Now take the selection tool and reshape these rectangles to a brush. If we bring our mouse at the border, you can see an arc with the pointer. That means if you drag, it will reshape. Now these were two rectangles. So we will select and group them as one. Select and after that modify group. Now it is a one rectangle. Now we will rotate it. For rotating we will use this free transform tool. Just from the corner handle we will rotate the brush and now we will place where this small line is ending. We can also change the length and width of the brush with the free transform tool. Okay, now we have created the brush. Now come to the line layer, click anywhere in the line layer, click on insert tab and create a shape tweening between the lines. Now click on the first frame of the brush layer. The brush should be selected. Now click on insert, create motion tween. Click OK. Motion tween is created. Now we have to define the motion path for the tween. So just click at the last frame and drag the brush to give the final position to the brush. Like whenever animation will end, the brush should be at which position. So the brush should go like this. This is the motion path for the brush. We can drag and define the path. That's all. Now we will test our animation. Control test. Hope you understood everything. Okay, bye.